Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. And listen, we are receiving, I thank you so very much, we are receiving from other ministries you know, just some uh, information uh, that we would like to share with you. And so uh, we do like to advertise and make mention of other ministries and what you're doing in the community. Bow Ministries, which is Beauty of a Woman Ministry Incorporated, will host their 13th annual back to school supply distribution. That day is going to be held on August the 7th. This program allows Bow Beauty of a Woman Ministries to help needy families by providing school supplies to local children so that they can start the year right. If you are in need of more details, and I do know on our social media page for Facebook, we have um, provided some uh, information for BOW. Uh, they will have certain days uh, in which, you know, you can drop off your donation. I think that's absolutely awesome. One thing about this ministry is uh, they do it in a great systematic order. Once again, the actual pickup date is going to be August the 7th, but to better prepare for this upcoming event, and uh, as I read, it is the 13th, so it's been 13 years uh, for this awesome, awesome event, uh, you can go over to our social media page, and I'm going to read off uh, the dates in which, you know, you can do your drop-off. And uh, I'm hoping, even if you're not in the Tampa Bay area, you can certainly, uh, you know, contact the ministry to find out how you can possibly send in a donation or, or something of that nature. All right. So, drop-off times begins july 21st which was a few days ago through july 26th and there are drop-off locations in tampa florida uh west shore plaza number three uh candace bank front porch or you know seminole heights and uh park eight executive suites main lobby and so once again on my personal Facebook page, Elder Angel Ferguson Ferguson, uh, you can see the school supply collection drive for Bow Ministries. And once again, the actual distribution date will be held on August the 7th. The website for this ministry is www.bowministry.org. The telephone number for the office is 813-304-7026, and the founder is none other than Tanya Walker Singleton, and uh, we do plan on having this awesome woman of God to join us on the air real soon, and she will get an opportunity to share more with you about Bow Ministries. Also, my dear uh, sister in Christ, one of my spiritual sisters, partners in prayer, Prophetess Yolanda Lee George, will be a guest speaker uh, this Saturday, June 26, 2021 at 1130 a.m., and it's going to be about, uh, it's Powerful Conversations talk show, and uh, it is going to be uh, Facebook Live. Actually, and so it is on my Facebook page as well. And uh, this woman of God, Prophetess Yolanda Lee George, uh, she has several books uh, she has written dealing with some domestic violence. She also has a Christian counseling uh, ministry. 
and uh, so go over to my Facebook page Elder Angel Ferguson Ferguson and you will see the link for True Talk TV uh, or Lisa Staley and she will have Prophetess Yolanda Lee George airing this Saturday at 11.30 a.m. And you can be sure to tune in if you have the opportunity. So excited for these awesome women of God uh, just moving and doing things for the kingdom of heaven. If you have an event for your ministry, uh, or if you would like for, for us to make mention of your ministry on the air, it is for free. And if you have something that you're doing for the community, please feel free to email us today at the balance of life one at yahoo.com and we will make sure that we make mention of your upcoming event on the air. And uh, we do have some guests lined up to come and share with you. I'm so excited. Uh, we, we have some things lined up for you in the next coming weeks that we're going to... Uh, just expound on the watchmen in today's church and I can definitely tell you that we're going to share with you from Pastor Jesse McCoy and uh, so looking forward to sharing with you and we have some others and we'll get them all lined up for you like I said uh, we will have evangelist Tanya Walker Singleton of Bow Ministries to share with us in the next coming weeks uh, about the ministry, the foundation, what they're all about, and uh, what they do in the community. And uh, she's an author as well. And uh, actually, also, we are planning a virtual tour. And uh, looking forward to that. A virtual book tour with some uh, other authors so just got a lot of things that we want to share with you coming up and uh, so I'm so excited I'm excited for each and every one of you in your respective places and uh, if you have an opportunity to join us for a Bible study on tonight I'd love for you to to tune in and be a part of virtual Bible study with Faith Outreach Deliverance Church Bridgeton New Jersey Airtime will be 7 o'clock p.m. And uh, just so looking forward to sharing and expounding on the Word of God with you. All right, when I come back, what we're going to talk about today is, listen, we're all looking for an image. What image? We're looking for a specific image, but what image are we really looking for? So everyone is searching for an image. Whose image are we created after? That's a very, very good question. And so when you're searching for an image, uh, let's look beyond what we think looks good. Okay? Uh, let's, let's look beyond that. Uh, because the image really should flow from the inside out. Sometimes we are so focused on the outside when the inside is a mess and I don't know about you but I want to be whole I want to be complete in him I do not want to look one way and feel another and so let, let's take a look at this and ask yourself whose image am I created in we'll be back in a moment If you've just tuned in, you have tuned in to The Balance of Life, and I am Pastor Angel Ferguson. Thank you so very much for joining us today. I'm asking this question because I notice that whenever a prominent person comes forth, A lot of times we focus on the image that we see and individuals begin to emulate and want to copy. Sometimes they critique and criticize without looking beyond the image what the natural eyes can see. Sometimes 
we desire to uh, be that individual, whether in ministry or even in our secular lives, but we have no idea what it costs to be that person. Only thing we can see is the image before us, but we don't know the cost. We don't know the sacrifice. We don't know the oil. We don't know what it takes to make that image pleasing to the public eye. And so I want us to be careful about emulating being a copycat. Wishing for someone else's life. Once again, we have no idea of the cost we have no idea of what it takes to put things in perspective so that when we make our public appearances it appears seamless and beautiful and not a care in the world and so ask yourself in whose image am I created here's another thing to consider when we copy, emulate, impersonate images of uh, society and of just other individuals. We are not being true to who we were created to be. I'll say that again. When we become copycats, emulate, um, try to be other people we're not being true to the person to the individual that we were created to be so I want you to be true to yourself I want you to appreciate who you are we're not perfect we're growing and we are maturing daily so I want you to find out who you are find out what you like find out what you don't like and take it a step further and ask God to reveal to you who he created you to be and allow him to shape and mold you to develop you what I'm saying today is be you it's okay to admire other people, congratulate them, compliment them, but let them be them and you be you. Find out about your own gifts and talents. Study them, grow them, mature them, walk in them, live them, work them, because no one can be you. No one can be you. You are you. And when you were created, you were thought of and created with spiritual gifts and talents. Yes, they have to be uh, recognized and, and they have to be developed. Just like a painting before a painting is presented first comes a vision then comes a gathering of the tools then comes actual work and so no it doesn't take overnight it doesn't happen overnight it is a development and within that painting there's this blank canvas and there is a vision of an image there are different colors to bring about the reality of that image and it is done in stages it is done in layers sometimes a portion of the painting has to dry before another application can be added but in the end it is an original the original painting that's who you are you are an original being once again admire 
compliment. We can agree to disagree, but I want you to walk in your own self. I want you to be you. When I come back, I want to step a little further because something happens when you allow yourself to be you. We'll talk about it when I come back. If you've just tuned in, you have tuned into the balance of life. And I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, so much is going on in this season and I am super excited. I would love for you you to stay connected with us that's right we want to be connected with you and there are several ways in which we can stay connected via social media our facebook page for the balance of life you can follow us there also uh email us today our email address is the balance of life one at yahoo.com you can find us via roku uh network for the television ministry uh we do have youtube for radio as well as television ministry or if you subscribe to Vimeo you can check out the channel for the balance of life there and we also uh, try to keep you updated and posted uh, with just some information on our Facebook page uh, my personal page Elder Angel Ferguson Ferguson I actually saw this this morning and I wanted to share it with you uh, uh, Women of Standard Women's Conference 2021 uh, Destin to win this is going to be held actually it starts today june 23rd 25th and 27th and uh this is awesome so uh looks like they're going to have it um in person and this is in tampa florida and you can also uh go and uh look at it live i believe and uh, services start tonight at 7.30 p.m. Uh, Pastor Paulette Cooper uh, of Tampa, Florida. Let me see. Assistant Pastor Tarja Sampson and Pastor Barbara Jackson. So if you are in the Tampa Bay area and you are looking for something to do starting tonight, 7.30 p.m. Women of Standard Women's Conference 2021 Destined to Win. It's starting tonight, 7.30 p.m. And the location is at New Life Restoration Outreach Ministries, 6104 Mar Illa Avenue, Gibsons in Florida, 33534. So if you are looking for something to do and looking for a women's conference, there you go. As we also mentioned, my spiritual sister, Prophetess Yolanda Lee George, will be a guest speaker this Saturday at 11.30 a.m. via Facebook Live. It is on my personal page. And it is with Arlissa Staley, True Talk TV. And it is a powerful conversations. And so uh, if you have some time this weekend, Saturday morning at 1130 a.m., be sure to turn in into that. That's absolutely awesome. And we have been talking about the school supply collection drive. Uh, started June 21st and it is going to go through July 26th. And there are several drop-off locations within Tampa. And that is also on our personal page as well. And let us not forget, uh, this is actually leading up to the actual distribution day. The distribution day for this school drive, back to school drive, is going to be held August the 7th. And uh, for more information on how you can take part in this, uh, please visit the website for bowministry.org. That is www.bowministry.org. The founder, Tanya Walker Singleton, 
telephone number for the office is 813-304-7026. I pray that you are able to take part and uh, be a blessing and uh, keep these women in prayer as uh, they're preparing to share with you through ministry. All right. And, and you know what? That's what we're talking about. The image. We're talking about the image. Uh, whose image? We are all searching for an image. Some people are searching for an image. Uh, they are going to, uh, they're going through an identity crisis and, and they don't know who they are. And so I want to encourage you wholeheartedly listen. If you have no idea who you are, I'm going to give you some assistance in finding out just how you can find that out. Uh, pray and ask our Father which is in heaven. Ask him. Be that specific. Say, I don't know who I am. You know, sometimes we can take on the image of uh, because of uh, what someone said that we are. And uh, I don't think that that's a, a good way, especially when it comes to be negative. Also, people can um, tell you who you are because that's what they want you to be. And they can give you positive words. And before you know it, you are beginning to shape yourself based off of what somebody else said. But who does God say that I am? Mm hmm. Who does he say that I am? And here is a reality that I absolutely love. When we can be us. When we are not imitating anyone else. He can flow freely through that vessel. Why? Because there is a clear identity of who you are. Listen, I know my um, limitations. There are some things that I desire to do, but I know my limitations. I, I remember one time that I wanted to play uh, the keyboard. I wanted to play music and listen, uh, my fingers, I could feel it that I could play. But when I sat down at that keyboard uh, or at that piano, that's not my that's not my area. That's not my gift. I admire people who can play so skillfully in, in other instruments. Also painting. I'm, ta I'm not talking about, you know, just painting a room. I'm talking about art. Uh, I admire it. I love it. I admire people who do that. And uh, but I stay in my lane. I had to learn who I was, not based off of what people said, whether negative or positive. I learned not to allow people to put me in places where they wanted me to be. Now, there is a difference between uh, someone sharing with you a revelation from God. And this is when you have prayed. And they share that with you. But I want to encourage you. I want you to ask for yourself. God who am I? What did you create me for? Ask him about your gifts and talents. And then ask for some plans and some directions. On how to. Once those uh, gifts and talents have been identified. Once they have been revealed unto you. Then I want you to begin to. Uh, work on cultivating them. Growing them. Maturing them. Get them ready to be, to be presented to the public. But before they can be presented to the public. they need, You need to be one with who you are. Identify with who you are. You are blessed. You are highly favored. Yes, you are. And another thing I want to talk about today. Listen, we're having a very, very intimate, motivational moment here today. I want you to believe in who you are. Believe in who you are. And I want you to believe that you can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. And we'll be back in a moment.
And welcome back to the balance of life. Uh, as you can hear, someone is uh, trying to call me. And uh, <laughs> looks like they're trying to call me via FaceTime. And I guess they did not remember that I am actually on. I'm on the air. Don't you just love it? And and so I'm going to send out a text message. And, um, and call them back. I absolutely love it um don't you and <laughs> so that's the noise that you heard in the background someone's trying to call me while i am on the radio uh but truly truly we just absolutely love and honor god he is uh he is our hope and he is our he is our 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 true true identifier of who we are and so we appreciate him so very much um, about who he has created us to be. We are in this image and no one, and I do mean no one, should try to um, put us in a place where they want us to be. And so I want to read something to you here. Uh, how are we created in the image of God? This question is the main theme in countless books and, of course, movies. And and so we we must know, guess what? I'm created in the image of God, but I have to know in what image. How did he create me? Uh, in the midst of all of our attributes, titles, positions, and labels, we need to know that the most fundamental aspect of our identity is that we are created in the image of God. And so he he has gifts and talents. What gifts and talents of his did he release unto us? That's something that... Um, we should find out okay you created me in your image what image what portion of you did you release unto me and then all right so um when he created us in that image um in his image he is so gifted. God is, has all gifts and talents and, and, um, and so what portion of you did you release unto me? Uh, here's something else. Um, what does it mean that humanity is made in the image of? Morally, humanity was created in righteousness and perfect innocence, a reflection of God's holiness. God saw all he made, humanity included, and called it very good. Genesis 131. Our conscience or moral compass is a vestige of that original state. And so first of all, like I said, let's find out. Let us find out what portion of God we are made in his image. He has blessed us with gifts and talents. And so what portion did he release unto us of him? You are not the negative things that people have said about you. You are not even the negative thoughts that you have thought towards yourself. You were created with gifts and talents. Listen, we all make mistakes. Uh, we, we've all sinned and come short. No one is perfect. And just like we gave the example of a painting, listen, Sometimes the first try does not work. Sometimes when we see the vision and we gather our colors to go on the canvas, uh, a color is off. Something is missing. And uh, we have to go back and we have to, uh, you know, get the right things. And so do not feel bad at all if you have made a mistake. Uh, look at it learn from it, grow from it, move on. But I do not want us to be copycats. I do not want us to look at this perfect picture of someone and say, I'm going to do that because we have no idea what it took for them before we saw them. Some things happen behind closed doors. And uh, I just want you to be you. 
I want you to be you. I don't want you to be anybody else. So ask God, God, who did you create me to be? Reveal that to me. Give me some plans. Help me cultivate it. And let's move forward. I love you without measure, everyone. Have a blessed day.